Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Plays Fallout 4. Have you possibly heard this title? If you have not, I wouldn't really hold it against you. It's one of those like really small underground indie titles that comes out on occasion and you know what? Let's just cut the bullshit. It's Fallout 4, it needs no introduction, so I'm gonna quickly preface this video by saying AAA titles is something I don't normally cover, but there was a significant amount of you guys and gals that wanted me to give it a try. All I'm going to say is that I'm going to try to record as much of this as I possibly can within the next few days, which will unfortunately cut into my other series, but if there's enough interest, I will definitely try to complete this from beginning to end. Of course, you can easily make your interest known by leaving a like and a comment, and if you happen to hate it, then hey, feel free to let me know as well. Your opinions are what helps me make decisions for the channel. Anyway, let's get started. There's going to be an intro cutscene over here. I will quickly just let you know that I don't talk during cutscenes nor character interactions, so no commentary during those times. I do respect those interactions within characters and cutscenes for your benefit. So um, when those happen, no commentary from me. Let's get underway. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Alrighty guys, and here is where you get to customize the appearance of both um, the wife and the husband. You know what? I'm going to be doing this a bit different. We're going to be doing a run with the wife instead of the husband. Just to kind of switch things up here a little bit. I already have something already pre-made, so I'm going to quickly just go ahead and go into the defaults over here. This seems just about fine. I'm going to load into my pre-loaded save over here that has um, everything already kind of set to go. So give me one second. Alrighty guys, so we are ready to go over here. Let's get into uh, or get out of first person mode here to give you an idea what my character looks like. I kind of went with this little like hipsterish uh, Alice Glass olive skin exotic type of look. Honestly, I have no idea what olive skin means, but a lot of people seem to use it pretty often and I figured this is probably as close as we're going to get to it. We have our husband down over here. Kind of looks like this um, Wolverine with a pompadour. I kind of like it pretty much. So, let's get forward over here. Ah, good morning, mom. Are you coffee? 173.5 degree Fahrenheit, crew to perfection, and today's newspaper just delivered. Yes, 
Yeah, that seems kind of hot to me, but I'm not really sure what the ideal temperature for coffee should be, so that's fine. Is this for me to check out? Yeah. More of the same. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> hmm, sounds like my type of comic. Let's get out of this first person mode over here and just wander around here a little bit. Oh, sounds like someone made a stick. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Do you now? I'm not really sure how comfortable I feel with uh, that robot looking at our kid over there with those saws on his, like, you know, limbs over there. But that's fine. Let's talk to my husband, Nate, over here. Hey, hon. We should take Codsworth to be serviced soon, don't you think? Yeah, that or probably take care of that saw on his limb. He's over there looking at the child right now, Nate. Wow, look at you. How'd a guy like me ever get so lucky, huh? I keep asking myself the same thing. Hun? Do I look nervous? I look nervous, don't I? A little bit around the eyes, man. So, let's see here. I have more coffee. Let me check this out right here. why he keeps bothering you. Oh, alrighty, sweet. Get underway really quickly. Good morning! vault calling. vault -tech? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am. And helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um... <laughs> A precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Alrighty, well, you better watch your language right there. I'm not sure if I'm too comfortable with this whole heck business, my friend. Uh, sure, sounds great, I guess. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Alrighty, so I kind of know the build that I'm going for over here. This seems relatively fine to me. It's kind of like, you know, a little bit below average is about everything else, but just really high in the charisma. So hopefully we'll make it work out. Let's go ahead and accept this one. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Miss Alice, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? So, do you get involved in any sort of the um, decisions in the family here, Nate? That was a pretty big thing, this whole, you know, registering for a vault thing, and you just kind of let me do it myself. I mean... That's fine if you uh, you feel that I'm capable of doing that, but I really wouldn't trust it in myself. What's going on over here, Sean? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? I will. That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. 
Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds fun, dog. Yeah, Why not? Sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this. Codsworth? What's wrong? Now, it's so just me. Why does Codsworth have to be, like, English? Like, that whole, like, you know... English type of dialect to it. I mean, it's kind of like a little bit of um, stereotypical, like, you know, yes, server bot type of attitude, flashes, right? Flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. Wait, we seem to have what? lost contact with what our fleet stations. Shh. Oh, no. We do, we, do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Well, that was actually quite quick. All right, so to the vault it is. Vault tech. No, I think you should all be running right now, not just huddling over here in fear. Let's actually try to make it over here as soon as possible. Nate, you gotta, you gotta keep up. I know you're holding the sun and everything, but, um, you know, we gotta hurry up over here. Bombs are gonna be dropping. If you want to make it out of here, we gotta just run. Sir? You might want to leave that suitcase behind. Just a little bit of information there for you. Bombs are dropping apparently as soon as possible. I'm out of AP over here. Should probably <laughs> gone into a little bit more endurance, but it's on me, I suppose. I am Not on the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh god, oh god. I'm reporting this! I like how the vault the guy can't get in here. That's great. Forward, otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, they sir. And God help us all. Ball. You two, follow me. Come on. Right, What's gonna well. happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. All right. But well, you heard the people, Nate. Let's not even ask about uh, questions Step about those people. Way. They'll make it in there at some point, I suppose. All right, we're here. How are you guys doing? End of the <laughs> end of the world, huh? Apocalypse. Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my God! did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a Hun? minute later... Made it. No, no. We'd all be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Yo, dog, am I moving out of the way? I'm trying to get up here. I'm trying to find out what these people want me to let me know. The faster I get here, probably the better for us. All new residents, please proceed. Female. Male. That would be correct. I am a female, all right? And Nate is indeed a male. Okay, welcome. Over there? Is that what you're pointing at? What if I don't want to go? Hey, hey, don't, don't get in line, dog. I'm, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. A little bit of order, huh, guys? You'll need your suit before we can take you further. Okay. I'm trying to. Russell, can you, like, uh, you know, hurry it up here? Russell, can you stare at these people later? I. Right, you know what? Fuck. Russell, come on, dog. Russell, come on. Welcome to Vault 111. I'm sure you'll feel right at home in no time. Russell, come on. Yeah, all right. There you go, my friend. Thank you. Take your suit. You'll need it. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. All right. I right, lead the way. See? That's how following usually works here, Doc. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, Take mind you. It's gone. Head down the hall. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. Oh, <laughs> sorry, what Jesus Christ! Be down here. See that girl right there with that jumpsuit? My God! Orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Don't you think? The vault safe. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. 
Just what now, Doc? Here and put your vault suit on. Right here. All right. Be okay. Mommy's right here. See? Yeah, I'm fine, Hi. Sean. Let me comfort Who myself. my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. All right. You got under control, Nate? Is, I'm leaving. Mom. Let's activate this. Oh, I got the suit on already. That was quite fast. When did I put that on? The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. Out of time. So I figure uh, decontamination was like code word for cryogenically freezing us and jumping us into the future here. Uh, well, that's a terrible sight right there. Let me activate this. There has to be a release. Okay. Pressure release. What about here? Nope. All right. Control come panel. Come on, come on, come on. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Now, uh, is there any chance he might be alive? You got, I guess I'm not really sure where he got shot to. Like, you know, he just got shot. We didn't sure if it was like in the body, in the head. He did get cryogenically frozen right afterwards, so I'm not really sure. I guess it'd probably have to be a bit more medically inclined for that. Alrighty, so I guess here we could probably wrap it up for the very first episode. We will probably... Do some heavy breathing, Alice. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up here for the first episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support this video a lot. I do expect to record a few of them here today and actually release some um, one after another, at least for the very first few days over here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Come on back and um, I will see you soon.